I wanted to put together a list, a small list of fragrances that are not overly complicated, where you don't really have to overthink anything if you want to smell good. And then I thought to myself, I'll go for the five fragrances, and then why not do them five fragrances from the same house? So that is what I've done. I've picked five Mancera fragrances that to me smell very nice. A couple of these fragrances are a little bit darker. There's one with a floral edge. One that's a little bit of a fresh or has a little bit of a fresh side to it. So if you're interested to hear about these fragrances, stay tuned. good YouTube and hello ladies and gentlemen welcome back to my channel my name is Mike Michael Mikey Cologne and if you're tuned in as always thank you very much for doing so that is right I didn't want to put a big list together I don't want to make anything complicated I know a bigger list means more to choose from that is correct but I think that especially if you have quite a large collection it's always good to just be able to pick one know that you're going to smell good and you can just go about your day and these five will do great through autumn through into winter i'm going to start off first with a floral fragrance well kind of floral floral edges so you have to appreciate florals to appreciate this fragrance and when i first got this in I didn't appreciate it as much as what I do now because my palette has definitely developed or matured, so to speak. But this is from their, oh, this is from their Pastigium line and it is gold Pastigium. This is a powerhouse. This is screw cap, as you can see. Oh, this is good. This is good. Straight off the bat, this opens more feminine than masculine, but we're gonna get into it. You've got bergamot, black pepper, saffron, Naples oud, Bulgarian rose, orange blossom, jasmine, patchouli, leather, oak moss, sandalwood, vanilla pods, gaiac wood, and white musk. That is a big no breakdown. As soon as this opens up, you get a blast of freshness. You get the bergamot, you get the spice, you definitely pick up the pepper. With this, you get the white florals, you get that orange blossom, you get the jasmine, and they add sweetness, a little bit of a fruity touch, plus they give this fragrance floral edges. Whilst all this is going on in the top, after a few minutes, the fragrance starts turning a little bit creamy. The oud steps in, and the oud here is not skanky barnyardy, it's nothing like that. This is one of the notes that turn this fragrance towards the masculine side a little bit. It adds a woodsy backbone, and it plus it gives this fragrance a little bit of a musky touch. As it starts to settle, leather nuances do come through but it's not heavy on the leather it's more of a soft suede and at this stage them white florals have tamed down and the rose now has crept in as this fragrance dries down more and more the fright the rose here becomes more present as this dries down and the white florals calm down the woods come in with the leather, with musk. You start getting touches of vanilla. And the rose here is a jammy rose. It is a Bulgarian jammy rose. And everything, how everything comes together, as it sits more and more, it becomes more creamy because I think the white florals give this a creamy side, but then you've got, then they calm down and you've got the sandalwood that, starts kicking in which gives this fragrance or continues to give this fragrance that creamy side to the fragrance the sweetness is always there and then when you 
get into the base, it's woods, musk, a little bit of vanilla. You've got some soft sweetness, musky edges. This is a great fragrance. It starts out more on the feminine side, but the more it sits, the more it hits on the unisex mark. It never becomes masculine or the only time it's more feminine is in the opening. If you enjoy florals as a man, you will appreciate this fragrance. If you don't, get yourself a sample, let it sit for 20 minutes, half hour, and then see what you think of it. But I think it's a solid fragrance, and this performs easily eight hours on skin, two hours of big projection. I mean, I'm not being funny. You only need two to three sprays with this. But if you want to go five to six sprays, you're going to be radiating for hours. It is a strong fragrance. And like I say, this is the older formulation or the older bottle because of the screw cap. But yeah, anyway, I want to put this on the list and it is Gold Prestigium from Mansara. Up next, we have another strong one. This one's got a little bit of a darker edge to it and it is Oud exclusive. Look at the color of that juice. When you see juice that color, you know that it is gonna be strong, and this is strong. Magnetic cap, this one, the atomizers on these bottles are great, look. Pressurized, oh, ambery, balsamic, right, we'll get into it. You've got spices, rose, violet, patchouli, Leather, Naples Oud again, Amber, Vanilla and White Musk. Simple note breakdown, simple fragrance. When this first opens up, it's warm, sweet, spicy. You get the rose, but the rose here is always sitting in the back. Well, at first it is. The Oud is present, but it is a clean Oud again. There's nothing challenging about this fragrance. The oud here is, it adds a little bit of, or it adds richness to the fragrance. It adds an overall darkness, woodsy, and slightly musky. As the, as the top calms down and you start getting into the mid, the roses come out a little bit more now. It's sweet, it's warm. Now you start getting the balsamic quality from this fragrance. It's still powdery. This is powdery. Once that Violet comes in on my skin. This is powdery from when it comes in to the late dry down. But the powdery nature to this does calm down as the fragrance dries down, if that makes sense. It starts out a bit powdery when the violet comes in. And then as time goes by, that powdery nature just settles down. It's always got a musky edge. It's got a woodsy base, ambery, balsamic, sweet, warm. This is... A Middle Eastern style take on the Rose and Oud. But it's not full on quite there. It's heading in that direction. Because the Rose is not overly powerful here. Neither is the Oud. But it's got that style to it. It is a strong fragrance for cooler weather. For me, if you want to wear this to the office, one to two sprays. This will go great on the evening out or if you're going out in general and it's a cooler day and you're meeting up with people, you're going out with your other half, you're going to a dinner, three sprays and you are good to go. It is a strong fragrance and it smells great. It really does. And the sweetness never becomes overbearing. It's got a nice bit of sweetness to it, but it never becomes too much. But it deserves to be on this list because this is a great fragrance. So anyway, that is our Oud exclusive. Up next, I had to put this on the list, it is Hindu Kush. This is a great fragrance. But for me, this is either I love it or hate it. And I'll get to it. Great atomizers again, pressurized. Yeah, this is good. This is good. Right, you've got Explosion of Spices, Labdanum, Incense, Oil of Cannabis, Patchouli Leaves, Woodsy Notes, Amber, Guyac Wood, Vanilla, and White Musk. As soon as this opens, you get spice. You get freshness. You get a little bit of sweetness. You definitely pick up on the amber. 
but it's very light in the beginning and I also get this green herbal nuance. Now, the, the oil of cannabis, it doesn't come across smelling like weed or, or skunk or anything like that. It's literally just a little bit green and it's a little bit herbal and that is always lingering through the composition. Like through the fragrance, you get that from opening to the dry down. Once the opening does calm down, things warm up a little bit. The amber comes forward a little bit more. But the, you've, got the, you've got the lab down and mixing in with the amber and plus you've got the incense. Now the incense here to me is not heavy, but it is there and that stays with the fragrance as well. It dries down a little bit more. It tends to turn a little bit more on the woodsy side as it settles. The sweetness is still there, semi-sweet. I do get a banana nuance from this fragrance and I do not know where that is coming from. I don't know what is making that banana nuance or what I'm detecting. It smells like a ripe banana skin that's been laying out in the sun for an hour and it's got a little bit of heat to it. So the scent of that banana peel is projecting a little bit, so to speak. That is what I pick up in this fragrance. I don't know if it's the cannabis oil mixing in with the incense and the lab denim and it's causing this effect, but I'm picking up saying banana -y. And that is why I think it's either I love it or hate it. I don't know if it's just my nose or if it's just me that's picking up that banana nuance. But I'm getting same from this fragrance that smells like banana. There's no doubt about it, unless I'm going crazy. But this, to me, is a very nice scent. Office safe, you can wear it day to day. This is an all-year-round fragrance. Seven to eight hours of longevity. It will last on clothes the next day. And for me, this definitely leans more on the masculine side. Oh, and quickly, the patchouli. The patchouli here leans a little bit on the woodsy side, plus it gives off that chocolate cakey edge that it can give off. So you get two facets from that patchouli in this. Great scent, and that is Hindu Kush. If you want something fizzy for autumn, try Tonka Cola. This is a great fragrance. It really is. There's a lot going on with this when this first opens up. On the front of it, so to speak, it seems a little bit simple, but it isn't. There is quite a few tweaks and turns in this, and the note breakdown is quite big. So sit down and relax for this one. You've got Sicilian lemon, nutmeg, cinnamon sticks, black cherry, fizzy cola, Indonesian patchouli, orange flowers, tonka bean, benzoin, labdanum, and vanilla. What do you get when this first opens up? You get fizzy cola, you get the cherry, you get lemon. That fizzy nature that this has flattens out after about five minutes. But up top, it's like you've got a freshly poured glass of cherry coke with a lemon on the side and cinnamon sticks dipped in. That is what you're getting. And like I say, that fizziness does calm down but as the fragrance starts to settle, there's a little bit of a smoky, incense -y nuance that sort of whips through the other notes. Maybe that's the lab denim doing that, but it starts to settle, then the tonka comes in. Now I start picking up on a little bit of a woodsy nuance. So now it's, you're still getting the lemon, you're still getting the cherry, you're still getting the cola, the spice has calmed down, the fizziness has calmed down, the tonka's fully present, so to speak, and I get a little bit of a woodsy nuance. But as this fragrance sits more and more, it does turn slightly powdery on my skin, which I think is coming from the vanilla. Plus you get resinous, balsamic touches from this. Not heavy, but you can pick them up. Because that lemon stays with the fragrance, the cherry does, that cola vibe. That stays, but like I say, along the way, balsamic touches, little smoky touches. This is a sweet fragrance, a little bit of a powdery edge to it. You get a nice dose of tonka. It is a very nice fragrance. Like, to me, there is nothing off-putting about this whatsoever. I think if you enjoy warm, spicy, sweet fragrances in general, 
I think you would appreciate this fragrance and it is great for cooler weather. Had to be on this list and that is Tonka Cola from Mansara. And to finish off the review, this had to go on the list. It is, was one of the most talked about fragrances from the house of Mansara. And this is an all year round fragrance in my own personal opinion. It is Cedrat Boise. Yes, this is a great fragrance. Has a fresh side to it. This is the screw cap. So I take it this would be an older formulation. I haven't checked the batch code on this. Oh, this is good. This is good. There was a lot of rave about this smelling a lot like Creed Aventus. Similarities, yeah, but the fragrances, this, this and Creed Aventus, they do their own thing. There is definitely similarities. They're in kind of the same vein as each other, but would I put them one to one? I wouldn't. Right, you got citruses from you got citruses from Sicily, black currant, spices, aqua jasmine, patchouli leaves, leather, woodsy notes, oak moss, and vanilla. This opens up citrus heavy. You get a lot of lemon and bergamot up top. But with that, you've got a fruity side. You get the black carrot. And that, to me, mixing in with the lemon and bergamot is giving this a little bit of a tart, zesty edge. But alongside all this, I start getting this dirty, not dirty, the jasmine here gives it a little bit of a dirty, soily edge, so to speak. Very lightly, there's a little bit of funk to this. And no, mine hasn't gone bad, but that is what I'm getting. So I think that's coming from the jasmine. Plus, it does put in a nice bit of freshness. So it's citrusy, fruity, a little tart and zesty. Got a little bit of a dirty edge, fresh. As it starts to dry down, it goes woodsy. The fragrance turns creamy. The vanilla starts coming in. The patchouli gives this... A little bit of a, or the patchouli and the oak moss give this a little bit of a earthy undertone. Not in, not so much in the opening. That earthiness is sitting in the back. And then as this goes from mid to base, that is when it really starts pushing through. And the wood amp up and the fragrance is creamy, vanilla. You get very soft touches of leather very soft touches like this is not a oh, leather heavy fragrance it is in the note breakdown and i can detect it but it's very light this is a great scent and one of my most favorite things about this is the citrusy fruity side the way it turns creamy and that earthiness that i do pick up i love the way that all gels together and it makes this a great fragrance this is office safe you can rock this on a date, you can rock it to a bar, you can rock it to the gym. If you want to wear it for a day-to-day -day fragrance, this is very versatile. It smells great, it lasts a long time. And to finish off the list, I had to put it in. Cedrat Boise. This is a great fragrance. Right, people, that is five easy to go. Or that is five easy going, likeable fragrances from the house of Mansara. to me they're all very nice fragrances some of them are great fragrances Mansara and montel the sister company they are known for their longevity especially montel's but Mansara's, the longevity is there with some of them or with most of them they are they project well I want to stop rambling. Right, let me know which ones you own out of these five. Which ones have you tested? Which ones are you interested in? Remember, sample first. But at discount, as you can pick all of these up at a still, if you look. Remember, people, smelling good's always a pleasure and never a chore. And I'll definitely see you lot on the next one. Cheers.